What's up, YouTube? So this is the part, the second part of the tutorial. The first part we did the um, the audio whereby we did some scratches and we transitioned in on the song, and now we are here in Vegas to do part two of the tutorial. So here we'll be doing the scratches and how we transition in uh, the song on on Vegas. So now once you've rendered your audio on Asin just come uh, and drag and drop it onto your uh, Vegas Vegas software I'm using Vegas Pro 10 why I'm using it because it's a bit lighter on the machine and uh, when I'm running the when I'm running what I'm running the on-screen recorder it will it uses kind of kind of uses up of the whatever this uh whatever the recording the screen recorder that i use is called i think ice cream or something so i like using acid pro 10 uh, vegas i like using vegas pro 10 when i'm doing the tutorials because it's a bit light on the machine and it will not use up most of my ram and so it will be easier for me to work with now i've already uh dragged and dropped the audio we rendered on uh, on what on acid So we are just going to get this. This is an empty. Nothing is playing here. So we just delete it. And then we are going to get this all the way to the beginning. Zoom in. That. Yes, now. You can drag and drop this down here. Now. For you to differentiate between the audio and the video tracks because this vegas it has to have an audio and a video track you just come here to the side now we are going to insert a video track and this is how the video track looks like if you notice they are different this one has a volume slider which means it's an audio track this one has a fader fader or a video slider when you take this all the way down there'll be nothing there on this previous screen it will be dark because you have brought this all the way down but all the way up means we have video so now we are going to get our songs and just come and drag them in here so we are going to come i've already opened where i have the um that the folder that I, where i have the songs and the first songs first song we used is uh, guatemala by Mr. Sui Li and it is what we are looking for MNOPQRS MNOPQRS Sui Li Sui Li Hello, where is it? and here he is so you just drag and drop Now, if you remember, we used the, uh, we extended this song. So what we need to do, we are going to go up to where the song starts. So you're going to place a marker there then you're going to bring this volume down and look for that specific part in the song more than a two dollar holla it was way more and here it is and then you're going to press s split and delete this because we don't need it then we are going to bring this up to there then we are going to bring this back up we are going to split and delete this now the original uh, the original temp bpm for this song is 101 
but in our mix we played it at a hundred and hundred and three so we need to get this playing at the same tempo as this how do you do it so we are going just to pull this a bit in here and if you look at the kicks you can see them but okay in, uh, when the song is begin they seem to be going or to be synced they are playing together but once you start going in a bit into the song you'll find now they start losing their way because the song we've done like if you check this kick is this kick here but because this one we played at a faster bpm this one is playing fast so this kick will play then this will play but we need to sync this and this they'll be playing at the same bpm now what do you do you will come place your cursor there on that kick press s delete this now you're going to put your cursor here come to the end of the video if you look what we have now is an arrow with two heads but if you press down control you will have an arrow with two heads but with a zigzag at the bottom then you're going to hold down your left mouse button and you're going to push this in up to there so that now you will see the kicks are aligned so if you're going to do that you'll see the kicks now are aligned so now if we play this it was way more than a two dollar holla they are playing on the same bpm so you're going to come all the way and make sure now the kicks are are together so we can split here press s delete this and you hold down control and push it in until the kicks are aligned then you're going to so what we can do because we extended the song we can just extend the song all the way out and look for that specific part we used to extend the song even cut it from here i like looking for parts where there is movement so that when you're doing your scratch there will be movement in the scratch as well let's keep this private she wants me to she wants me to like i can use from here scratches are then you're going to uh, place it exactly where the first kick is after the scratches are finished so you're going now to align it like that then we're going to split and delete that now we are going to come here now and start doing our scratches so you're just going to split a small part from the video and this you're going to copy ctrl c copy ctrl v paste and then you're going to put the split on every scratch that you have like that
Uh, one thing I forgot to show you for your for your splits to move in freely on the workspace or the work area like how mine are moving freely you come to options and uh, and select this quantize to frames and select that so that because if that one is selected they will, they will be moving like they are they are stuck like you cannot place your split anywhere you want on the on the project so everywhere you have a split or here you have a scratch make sure you place a make sure you place a what place a, the split that you cut from the video like so make sure you have it everywhere there is a everywhere there is a there is a scratch now once you've done that you are going to come and fill in all these plant spaces like so Feeling all of them. so just like that you have your scratch i don't know if it will play on this preview window let's see now <laughs> one thing i forgot to show you you need to mute this because we don't need this we have the audio for the mix so you don't need this audio so you just come and click on this and that way it's been muted now the scratch is not yet done so what i do i'll come and select the first scratch hold down control jump this one select the next one jump select the next one jump select jump select jump select jump select jump select do this to the end of your to the end of your scratch select jump Select jump, select jump, select jump, select jump. Now these ones I don't need to reverse. So you just come and reverse all the splits that you have selected. Now let's play it. there a bit so now get where the, the 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 song the next song comes in uh, press m press, place a marker and then and then we also place a marker where the song starts Yeah. Then we are going back into our folder and look for the song. It's part of ranking. This kind of love. Uh, so you just drag and drop. And then you are going to mute and bring this down. <coughs> and uh, <coughs> sorry play play the the video so that we can get the the cue point yeah and mute here really? and there's the kick and then we're going to zoom in again press the 
process and delete this we don't need it mm. delete and we are going to pull this all the way to where we placed our marker and bring this back up so i can maybe use this kick to sync my video and my uh, my, my audio so you're just going to press s and delete this and then we are going to start syncing our mix and our video <laughs> Since we played the uh, we played the the song on the mix at a higher BPM, that's why the the song is not synced. But now, if we come hold down our control and come to the end of the song, hold down control and we sync our song now and uh, like head into the song, further away in, further into the song and check to see if the kicks are aligned. That's way you make sure that the song is aligned and synced so that the lip sync will be on point i hope you all understand me when i say what i mean by lip sync you don't know having a video playing and the, you have a video playing or you have your mix playing and the, the words are coming out but the, the whatever the guy the guy in the video looks to be saying something else and the Words that are playing on your mix are different from what is being seen in the video. So just like that, you've synced your video. So we come and also, as well, just look for a part in the video where there is movement so that you can use it for the, for the scratch. Like I can get I can get this part here. You can get that part and use it for the scratching. So you're going to come and copy this where the scratches are. Now we are going to mute the, the audio track for this part because we don't need it now. And uh, one thing uh, I, I need to show you before we continue. So first things first, I'm going to press S and copy this here. Uh, copy this just over here. And then we're going to delete, the, move this out of the way. Don't know if this is going to work how I am anticipating it in my head. Yeah, yes, it works. So I've extended this all the way into the song here because if you noticed our transition, the outgoing song was playing as the incoming song was playing. So we need this part for this video to come and transition out as this one is transitioning in. So now I can come and split this part S yes. and now I'm going to start laying out my 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 scratch so everywhere there's a there's a scratch you copy paste copy paste copy paste I'm going to put 
push this a bit in and then I'm going to copy this here because now once the scratch is done playing then the song starts playing so now there will be a transition so we are going now to transition this song the incoming and the outgoing song all the way like so now if you see these yellow lines crisscrossing like this that means there's a transition there's a video transition happening here and then we are going to <coughs> do that as well like so and like that you have a video transition so now we are going to fill in our blank spaces like so anywhere there's a blank space fill it up so that we don't have a dark screen when the video is playing like that like that yeah, and fill up here then we come to the first one select on to the next one jump select next one select next one select hmm. one select next one can reverse and you've done your scratches now if you These settings will give you a very big, very big, very big, very big what? Very big uh, video, video size. So you can come here and customize it. You select 29 as it is here. Now, these settings, I don't remember them. On audio, you can come here and leave it as it is. On video, I don't remember what we use for for here but if you want to confirm you go on to Vegas 13 and get into the settings for uh, Apple TV 720p and copy those settings and come and bring them in here but in case any one of you has a problem with rendering and what is the right setting for rendering this uh, on Vegas 10 you know my number for whatsapp i've put it uh, down on the description hit me on my whatsapp and i'll send you a screenshot of the right settings that you'll be using to render for mp4 with a 720p format so until next time peace by the way there is a third part for the tutorial that's coming up with the, the third part will go back into acid we do something on acid then we'll come back on vegas and do it again uh, do it do the video part so till the next tutorial guys peace